Alright, so DC Universe Online is a game that's been around for over a decade now, releasing back in January 11th, 2011. What's crazy is the game is 12 years old, but yet still has a loyal player base and still gets DLC to this day. Even right now as we speak, they just announced a new Static Shock story episode coming to the game trying to keep it going. Also, some of you may have probably seen this popular animation that shows a really cool fight between the Justice League and Lex Luthor. Growing up, I used to watch this over and over and it took me forever to learn that it was from this game. It's wild. But with DC Universe Online being a free to play superhero MMO, it has gained much popularity through the years. Plus, considering there's not too many superhero MMOs out there, it's probably one of the best to choose from. As you get deeper into the game, you'll be surprised by the amount of detail that was put into this game. With its pretty nice immersive open world environment, storylines for some of your favorite characters in DC, and countless amounts of customization options available for your character that lets you modify everything to your liking. And whether you choose to take on roles as your own hero or villain is all up to you. You also have the ability to partner up with other players and friends to take on missions across the world or you can decide to fight your friends in PvP battles as well. This game could easily suck you in into playing for countless hours. DC Universe Online is a game I used to play and today I wanted to see if it's something you should try out now in 2023. So uh, yeah, let us get into playing this crazy game called DC Universe Online again. Here I am back on DC Universe. Man, who was I trying to be? I wanted it to be Red Death so bad. Like, look at my fit. I thought this Batman Beyond mask was it, huh? And of course, we got featured Batman talking his game to Comrade Diana. I see you, Batman. Go crazy. But hold up. It's kind of lively down here. Okay, got my son with me too. It's good, Damien. Wonder Girl. Who was that? Never heard of you. This game got a lot of people playing though, I will say, but you know, games like this, there's always people in the lobbies, but not actually doing the, the game modes. I wonder what my skills were. I think it was like mental or something. Yeah, it's definitely mental, I believe. I forgot how to even use this character. You like the Batman suit, don't you? Yeah, you like that. He came over here like, hold up. It's like a kind of fleazy. <laughs> I appreciate it, Batman. And what's weird with this character is I got Batman with an AK. Y'all already know that. <laughs> Batman with an AK can't go wrong. And he can fly. I'm a person that can fly and use guns. Yeah. I, I don't know what was going on in my head when I thought about that. Hold on. Everybody over here fighting. I'm trying to get into some fights. Hold on. What we got here? Shoot Larry. You trying to scrap, bro? Run the fade. No! Damn, decline my fate. That's all good. Yoroshima, you trying to run the fate? Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Why you not fighting? Oh, there we go. Uh-huh. Why your health not dropping? Excuse me? His health is not going nowhere. Damn. So you just high level, huh? That's crazy. Just finish me. Finish me, bro. <laughs> That's the one thing about PvP is if you're not the same level as them, you can your ass beat. GG's, man. GG's. So one thing that's kind of cool about this game now is that new players that get into this have so much content to play for free, literally for free. Like even after you reach level 30, it's tons of content. Like look at this, tons, tier two, tier three. I don't even have all the tiers because I'm not the highest level with this character. And you can easily find raids in this game relatively at any time, like just solo queuing. At least the last time I played. Is that Hulk? Meep, meep. What are you doing in here? Ain't he a speedster? Excuse me? I know Hulk Knight in the DC universe running like a speedster. Look at him going crazy. Okay. I forgot people like to make their characters as a Marvel character in DC. That's the power of having customizable characters, I will say. Well, it looks like I joined into a raid this quick. Dang, it only took a minute. This game actually got a lot of players still, surprisingly. Here we go. I have no clue what I'm doing. I forgot how to play this game, yo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, if y'all want to flame me in the comments based off my roles, I, I, I'll just be pressing buttons, honestly. Just doing whatever. I know there was one raid in here where you had to fight like all Brainiac robots. I kind of like that one too. Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, belongs to us. Belongs to us. 
Yeah, the voice actor never gets old. Than what forces you can muster here on then you got all the sound effects going off during their dialogue. Shoot, comment down below the first time you actually played this universe. Like, were you an OG OG back in 2011 or were you like kind of a newborn? Played it just recently. Let me know down in the comments. For me, I actually only started playing this game a year ago and then I only played it for like a few months and it was I was addicted, but it kind of was better with friends, I'll say. I couldn't really play it alone. After like my friends left, it, it just, yeah, it, it was wrapped after that. Looks like we're almost done with these enemies. I don't know what I'm doing. Just spamming my attacks. Yep. And I think I was on DPS roll too. Definitely not DPS. <laughs> I don't even think mental is a good build for DPS actually. But come on, take them out. There we go. Never thought I'd be playing the MMO on my channel though. This was supposed to be my victory. Feel satisfied that the failure is all yours. Sucker, is you, that carnage? Is what in the world? What you, you doing in here? And here we are at the Neuron boss fight, and it doesn't look like he's losing any health. Is he? Oh, he is. Just very, 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 <laughs> very little. But as long as I can fly in the air, don't get hit with this lava, I'm straight. Somebody dead? Hold on. I got you. Never mind. And, uh,. I died. <clears throat> yeah, I'm definitely rusty in this game. <laughs> I got a uh, ally. I think it's Bruce Wayne, right? Let me use that real quick. Where's he at? Oh, there you go. My boy, Bruce Wayne. You're not doing nothing. Oh, lava. And there he goes. My domain, my souls, they belong to me. Hold him down. living and we will take them okay i am myself again and ready to hey, live once i'm just more. trying to connect so with you shy. huh along with my what the heck is that what is that noise well i be damned here i am in metropolis city again this was one of the things that surprised me so much when I first played this game. The fact that you can just go around the super open world area with your friends and do quests and fight mini bosses. I don't know. It's just all of it links together. And then you have cities like Gotham City and it just has so many other areas and more content than I expected. Even though there's a lot of content that's free in this game, there's also a lot of content that is not. You know, like upgrading your character, right? That, that takes a bit of money. Like, yeah, you can do that for free, but it would take way and I mean way longer. And also with artifacts, you know, it costs money to upgrade the artifacts, do all that, you know, buy outfits, buy allies. It costs money, you know, that's the part where the game's not free anymore. But to actually have fun in this game, it's totally free. Like you don't have to spend any money, I'm telling you. The game is easy to have fun, at least for like 20 hours. Like if you just get this game, hop on, play with your friends and get to level 30, that's fun. It's actually pretty fun. And now we are in my hometown, Gotham City. I hope you're not robbing this ATM. You know what? I'll rob it for you. Give me your money. Give me all that. If I had to pick which map I like better between Metropolis or Gotham, I'd have to say Metropolis just because it's like daytime and it just seems to look better in the daytime. That's all. That's the only reason. But Gotham is still Gotham. You know what I'm saying? Let me check something. Can I attack these cars? Uh... Uh, I never knew you could do that. And I accidentally just killed somebody. Well, you guys, I guess that's DC Universe in 2023. You know, as you can see, there's still tons of players playing this game. Would I recommend DC Universe to people in 2023? I would say, yeah, because honestly, you don't have to pay nothing to actually experience what the game is like. You can have fun totally for free. So yeah, I would recommend DC Universe in 2023.